So I got the truck back again. I didn't get to drive it home because I'm not on the insurance and we're just going to wait till I switch it over. But my dad said it drives straight and they actually put a bulb in the turn signal now so that works. And my dad was complaining because there's a there was a open door light on. I was like, well, that's weird. They must have messed with my switches. So then I I came out and started messing with the switches and realized my neons wouldn't come on. It's like that's weird. Like my neons should come on. Turned on all the switches, nothing was going on. So take a look under the hood and my fuse holder was on like the front of the battery and it didn't used to be there like it used to go around behind the battery you can't even see this but then I like feel it and it doesn't even feel like there's a fuse in it so I opened it up there was no fuse in it they took my fuse I found it in the cup holder anyways I was wondering why in the world would they take my fuse out but I think I figured it out because I got this wireless alarm system and it's hooked on this fuse and for some reason, even though it shouldn't, they must have disconnected the battery for something. I'm not sure what. Stupid fuse holder. There we go. And when they connected the battery back up, the relay had all kicked on. And the only way to shut it off is with this. So they must have disconnected my battery and messed with it and so got that figured out now I gotta I think that by putting in a diode on the line on the one line that's gonna fix it. I talked to this guy who's real smart with electronics and he said to do that so I'm gonna give that a try he said that sometimes you can get backflow through your coil so it might be flowing backwards through my relay and back up through and just throwing it off. So I'm going to throw a diode, a couple diodes in there maybe and see if that cures it. If not, then I have no clue. Right, so I'll let you know what happens. Right, so now I've added four diodes. i got two there. You won't be able to see these other two, but i got two under the dash. I'll grab my drawing real quick just to show you where I place the diodes now. Hold on. That's better. All right, so this is my crappy little drawing. I now have a diode on this line, this line. Um, where else? This line here, I think I might have one on this line or this one. I'm not sure. But anyways, so I have all those on there. And still, when you push the button, turn it on, that indicator light doesn't come on. But those lights in the vents, they don't come on anymore. That happened after I added this diode here. And when you open the door, the alarm goes off, that indicator light still doesn't come on, and that's changed, it used to come on when you open the door, then you close the door, and the alarm stays on, it's not supposed to do that. So I still don't know what's wrong with that, I'm going to add a couple more diodes, seems to be doing something somewhere, I don't know. Right, I've been going at this for a couple hours now. Still got those diodes there. And I have them on everything down here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're just everywhere. Seven down here, four up there. And this thing still just does not work right. I don't know. It worked right there. The light just came on.
Hmm. Hold on just a sec. Yeah, never mind. It was still screwing up. I'm just... I'm getting really mad at this. I've been working on it. Like a wicked long time tonight. And still just... Being retarded. Alright, well, have a nice night, y'all.